Rec Tech family, Chef Greg here with you. Today we're cooking on the Matador and we're bringing you a fish rice. We're doing hush puppies fries and uh, spicy catfish. So first and foremost, I've got the Matador lit. It's just a smidge above uh, low. I'm gonna use uh, my bullpen and I'm looking for a temp right around 350 to 375. You see it climbing up. Make sure you're not touching the bottom of the, uh, the bowl there. So 356, 357, 360, we're ready to start cooking. So since these will stay hot the longest, I've got just some hush puppy mix. We're gonna use a spoon and just put little dollops in there. Make sure you don't drop them, you don't wanna get splashed. Today we're cooking catfish, and I, I, I think of catfish as the, the fish of the, of the pig of the lake, if you will. It's a bottom feeder, it's absolutely delicious. So we're gonna treat it with some screaming uh, pig rub. I think that sweet and heat will bring out some great flavor in that fish. So add about a teaspoon of that in there. And the dredge we have here is kind of a, a, a Cajun style dredge. There's some cornmeal, flour, cayenne pepper, paprika, some chili. So we'll take our fish and we'll just lay it right in there. I took our catfish fillets and I cut them in half. That way they'll cook nice and quick and even. Okay, so we'll just lay our fish in there and then what we'll do is we'll get them in the grease in just a just a few minutes. So we'll go ahead and flip these over. They get nice and golden brown and they'll only take about five minutes or so. All right, so our hush puppies are nice and golden brown. We'll go ahead and pull those out of the grease. Make sure you have some uh, paper towels nearby to drain off any of that excess. And what's great about the matador, you can always Slide the hush puppies to the side, scoop them out easier, let some of that grease run out too. We've got about two quarts of oil in here, so that's a far cry, less than you know four gallons or so for them big turkey fryers. We'll go ahead and add in some steak potatoes. All right, so our fries have been going about six, seven minutes. They're good and golden brown. Let's go ahead and scoop these out. And again, make sure you have your uh, drip mat around to get that extra grease out of there. Give this a quick shake. Let's go ahead and get our fish in. So again, we're taking our catfish fillets, little pig rub, and always put it in the grease away from you. When they float, we'll flip them over. We added our bigger pieces first so that they'd cook a little a little longer than the skinny pieces, we'll add those at the end. That'll take about eight to 10 minutes. All right, so our fish has been cooking for about uh, seven, eight minutes now. It's all floating, it's looking, smelling delicious. We'll go ahead and pull some of these pieces out. So here we have it, we've got our steak fries, our hush puppies, our fried catfish. Okay, we'll break a piece off here. Look and see how moist and tender that is. Really hot, delicious. Mmm. Matador cooks a great fish fry. Pick up some fish, grab some friends, grab a case of beer, have a fish fry.